Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about decision table and configuration. Let's get started into the topic. So decision table is one of the declarative rules that are available in Pega. So if you go to records explorer under uh, decision, you can see decision table. Decision table are instances of rule declare decision table and uh, there are scenarios like there might be multiple inputs and uh, there might be possibility of multiple results for that and we have having a scenario where we need to check many instances like in our general programming language if we consider there is like a nested if else so there are many if else statements then we can't sit and write many when conditions and uh, evaluate it so overcoming that particular problem Pega has come up with an approach called as decision table these are the instances of decision table so here let's take uh, a prominent example like gender suppose if user has entered f then we need to set some value to female or if you user has set to m then we have to consider that value as a male then in that scenario you can uh, correlate this particular thing decision table is having these many tabs like table results parameters pages and classes test cases specifications and history first step you can see here this is like uh, insert a row before and this is insert a row after and this is delete a row and this is like for column so this is row and these are columns so you can add any number of columns and you can delete those as well and this is insert or before or this is insert or after and this is like a set property values so before coming that so first i have added one column so in that column if i click this you can see we have to give some property this is not a mandatory field you can give it so when you are calling this uh, particular decision table for this gender some value should be set whether it is m or f or other value so it will consider that value uh, gender and this is label of this particular property and this is range suppose these are text properties so i'm having only these uh, operator comparison things equal to less than less than equal to greater than greater than equal to not equal to suppose we are having a situation like where we are using some integer and we are checking some value which is between like 100 to 200 for example for those scenarios you can give this uh, use range you can see here greater than or equal to less than or equal to okay and uh, in this property also you can click on settings and you can use uh, expression builder suppose uh, there is a scenario where like uh, you need to truncate some spaces over here then just you can uh, use substring or some other functions like that see and you can give use those expressions over here so it will truncate the value and it will start comparing with that and this is f and uh, here also you can give some expression builder if required and this is return value so if gender is f then you want to return as a female as an uh, output from this gestion table you can give this here and suppose uh, if it is m then you want to give as male you can give this there is no mandatory to give these quotations in decision table suppose you have added some one row then it can be considered as uh, one of the probability of output and this is another probability of output suppose uh, you passed as f and it has uh, written it has to return female but you want to evaluate all the rows without uh, stopping the execution then if you go to results and click on evaluate all rows even though at the first instance uh, for f it needs to be female the execution won't stop here and here you can see it is considering as when when otherwise and now if i am unchecking this evaluate all rows see it has changed to if else uh, statement and the second thing is suppose now gender value is not f or m it is like others then it would be executing this so it won't return anything it won't return anything so it will return na 
because this is a default uh, return value and there is something called as set value also I am setting some uh, other property also like PY node so here for this instance I want to set some other uh, nodes or something I can uh, use that so while returning from after the execution from this JSON table these two values we can consider and you want to restrict users to update these return values then you can click on this so allow changing values in cell is it everyone or no one or people who are having only privileges certain privileges only they can they do it means you can add a privilege over here for now i'm adding as everyone click on save and there is an interview question as well how can you call a decision table from another decision table so here if you go and go with call and you click down arrow see no results are found but uh, in the return column if you just go for call and do go for down arrow you can see the decision tables that are available in the class hierarchy so in this way you can call a decision table from another decision table okay and to validate suppose this is a small example but you have built a big decision table and you are not sure like is there any clone flex or uh, you have missed anything like syntax errors or like that so you want to check for that you just click on show conflicts see you got a message like that decision table is consistent this is show completeness this is complete and you want to export all these conditions to next. click on export see you can see in this way you can add some else if statement and you can import this as well and this is results tab so as i've said uh, if you go for evaluate all rows then it will become when condition one this is like allow to update columns allow to update rows and allow to change property sets so here you can see right results tab this is very important one so there are two things allow additional results when selected property uh, has returned the result suppose here i'm giving py label or something and i can define over here suppose if a result is female i want to add some more property set to the values i want to return py case id or some other property as well so when the result is female you can add more values to the respective result for the respective instance as well i can give male i can give na so like this once i have defined this click on save so in table tab if you go you can see there are return values right just go here and see you can find all the return results now you can easily change that for example i am showing this so in this way if you are having a big decision table and you want to set more values for each result then you go with this option results and you add all the possible results and where on which property this result value should be set and you define that and if you want to preset some properties for this decision table you can go this and you can add your property and your value over here and this is parameters where you can define parameters and you can use the same here with the param dost and this is like an option like set property value if you want uh, like the other way around like we have set uh, some nodes over here right in this way you can give if you want to hide this you can hide this and these are the parameters and these are pages and classes and this is test cases and test cases i will be taking a separate video like how to create a test case uh, for a particular applicable rule like a decision table one rule or something else so this is all about decision table and 
how actually we can call this decision table we can invoke this decision table so one way is like through an activity so in activity if you go to steps and we have a method called as property map decision table so if you give that there would be some parameters like property name this is returning something right this mail so you want to set this particular mail on a property then you can define this property name and this is decision table name and this is allow missing property suppose there are uh, multiple values like here only gender you have to pass but there are different uh, columns where you are deriving a particular result based on uh, three properties and you forgot to pass uh, values of two properties and uh, not the third one and if you want don't want to execute the decision table you can just uncheck this and you want to execute the decision table even though some values to the properties are missing then you can go with this checkbox and if you can give the decision table name it will invoke the decision table and the other way is in flows also we can uh, invoke a decision table for example here in you can see some decision right so if you add the decision shape you can go with decision table and uh, you can call the value so in this way you can invoke a decision table from an activity or a flow and from data transform also we can uh, invoke a decision table we are having uh, a function called as obtain value this is also one of the interview question so in this way we can uh, invoke a decision table and we can configure this uh, decision table hope you have learned a new concept Thanks for watching this video. Please share, like and comment your feedback and stay tuned to this channel.